Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I'm really excited to share with you our brand new plugin called Hide and Seek. This is a plugin that I've created with AJ Haynes, my buddy from Minneapolis. And this plugin is all about saving you time when dealing with a lot of objects in your object manager. So you can search everything, you can isolate your selections, make save groups, and just deal with all of your objects really quickly. So I'm gonna jump into Cinema 4D and let's fire it up. So here's your little icon for hide and seek. It'll also be in your plugins folder right here. So let's click that and we'll have a little floating dialog box. So I like to put that right here. Um, you can probably pin it up here somewhere if you want to. So here are all of your options. So what we have is type and name and then a search bar. So under type, that's going to search for anything that is native to Cinema 4D. So anything that's a primitive, a tool, a spline name, any of these options up here, any of your deformers, cameras, lights, that will be under type. So if we type in light and hit search, you can see right here it says it's found four items. So now what we can do is we could solo them and then you'll have only your lights. You can unsolo them. You can also hide them. So that will get rid of them and then we can show them. Uh, another thing that we can do is just toggle between them. So it's going to find them in your object manager and we can toggle to the next one, the next one, the next one. It's a really easy way to find things in your scene. So if you have a bunch of cameras, you can just start toggling through them and find them. You can search for anything like a cloner. Um, so these three buttons are your big ones, the solo, hide, and show. So if we want to solo all of our cloners, we can work on them really easily, then re-click it to unsolo them. You can hide them if you want to declutter your scene. You can show them. So that is type. You can also search for tags, actually. So if we wanted to search for, say, dynamics tags, all you have to do is put tags at the end. And then you can see right here it says it's found 21 of them, and we can toggle through them. You can see it's highlighted right here, and as we toggle through, it'll go to the next one, next one, next one. So really easy way to highlight tags as well. You can do that with material tags, missing tags even. So that is the type section. Now, name is if you went in here and named some of your objects. So for instance, if we went into this cube and named this brick, and then we type in brick under type, and we hit search, it's not gonna find anything. But if we go to name, it's gonna look at the specific names and it will highlight that guy. So that is if you have something specific in your scene. For instance, we have lamps in this scene. So if we wanted to hide those, it'll hide all of our lamps. So um, that's what the name is for versus the type. All right, one last thing I'm gonna go over really quickly. Let's put in our cloners. This store section down here has a few different options which are really great. So you can toggle between the different colors and let's say we wanted to make all of our cloners have a pink tag. We'll click save and now all of our cloners have a little pink tag on them. Let's type in something like cube and let's give them a yellow tag and we'll load that up. So now what we can do is go back to our pink tag at any point and reload it. So if we go back to our pink one, we can click load and it's gonna select all of our cloners again. And uh, we can start soloing them and working with them. And then if we wanna go back to our cubes, we can go ahead and click load and it's gonna load those ones up. So this is a really handy way to make selection um, groups and then be able to come back to them in the future. If you wanna use a selection object instead, we can do that too. So if we type in cloners and search for it, we can click on selection object and then up at the top it'll make a new selection object if we click on that once you'll see all these cloners in here and the nice thing about that is at any point if we want to you can just double click that and it will highlight all of your cloners so a couple of different ways to save out different selections and use them in the future so that in a nutshell is hide and seek it's a really great way to find things in your object manager, to search and toggle through them, to solo them, to hide them. So there are a lot of other options as well. Those are the really basic ones, but I'm gonna let AJ take over and explain a lot of the detailed ones. There's a lot of powerful stuff under the hood, but I'm gonna let him explain some of those. So we'll just consider this a really quick primer of the plugin. The nice thing about this is that it collects all of your objects searching functions, searching, soloing, hiding, all that stuff, making groups. It takes all of that stuff and puts it into a very easy to use little window that can always be up here. Once you start using this, you'll never go back. It saves you a ton of time. I hope you guys snag it up and I hope it's useful to you. As always, thank you for checking out Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.